Hello, I'm Nick St. Dern in the Kingdom of Aitenfeld. I'm known as Nicholas de Navarre, and this is the seventh challenge for the SCA Cooking Challenge on Medieval Recipes. And today's recipe comes from a book from the 1300s entitled Cure en English, which is cooking for English or the English cooking. It uh, comes from a list of sauces called Diverse Sibaria, which means um, uh, diverse sauces and cups. And there are several different recipes. Today we made Vert Desire, which is actually Vert de Sire, or the green sauce of Syria. And it's made with milk of almonds, flour of rice, brawn of chapon, or the meat of a chicken, red wine, sugar, parsley, the color shall be green. So that's the important factor. So the ingredients include almond milk, rice flour, fresh parsley, some red wine, which here I used a, a Marsala wine, a little bit of sugar. I only used about a teaspoon of sugar because everything was already sweet and I think I could have even eliminated the sugar. And then some chicken breast. The parsley is chopped fine. I removed all the stem pieces as I was chopping it, so it was mostly just the leaves. Once the leaves were chopped, one bunch of parsley made about two-thirds of a cup of chopped parsley. I, the rice flour was added to water and stirred separately first. I used a total of about five teaspoons of rice flour to thicken the almond milk. After it was poured in, it was heated up, and then the chopped parsley was added once it was heated and started to thicken. I kept this on the stove for a little bit, trying to get it to thicken a little more, and then I added a half a cup of red wine. I didn't want to add too much wine because I didn't want to change the color. I wanted to keep the green color. The chicken was previously roasted, so I just used the chicken breasts, and then sliced them and grilled them in a pan just to reheat them and put a nice little browning on them. After the chicken was heated up and the sauce was heated on the pan, I then served forth pouring the sauce over the chicken breast. Got my chicken roasted and then pan fried uh, to get some grilling on it. And the sauce is green. And so we'll put some of the sauce on top of it. So you can see the parsley flakes in it. You can grind the parsley up in a mortar to get it really fine, or you can use a blender uh, to try to get the parsley as fine as possible after you chop it. Uh, but a little bit of small parsley chunks are okay. Instead of using cream, this one uses almond milk and it definitely tastes like almonds. It's also sweet. <clears throat> the almond milk itself has some sweetness to it. The flavor is more of the almond than parsley, even though there's quite a bit of parsley, there's about three quarters of a cup of parsley in the sauce. The parsley flavor is not very strong at all. It's an interesting sauce, um, not common to anything we would use today, uh, other than sprinkling some parsley on food, but uh, the flavor is not bad. Uh, I think it's a little sweet for my taste from the almond milk, but it's overall pretty good. Thank you for watching.